welcome once again. May I remind you? No, I don't need to. That you are watching Motor Show's updates by Michelin, and these updates are coming in straight from. May I remind you? Don't, no, 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 I don't need to. From Jakarta, G I I A S 2019. And however, I would like to remind you once again that we feel very envious, jealous, jealous of the Indonesian market. Jealous, nikale. <laughs> well, okay. I do agree, though. The Indonesian market does seem to have far more options for the motorcycle enthusiast. I mean, look at Varun. He's been there for what two days, and yeah. he's behaving like a kid with a huge sweet tooth in a candy store. Well, Varun is a kid. Varun's a kid. Yeah, but I think it's the motorcycles that are making him behave like that. All right then, uh, Varun. Let us know what's up. Yeah, Shumi. I am feeling completely helpless. There are so many motorcycles and scooters around me that I can only stare at. Not only do the Indonesians get so many options to choose from, but they also get the updates before us. And it's not just for the Japanese, by the way. It's also for the Italian motorcycles. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Benelli 249S. I know what you guys are thinking. The frame looks familiar. Yes, it is based on the TNT 300, which is sold in India, but it's received. A major overhaul aesthetically a couple of months ago. So you have a very sharp headlamp up front. The fuel tank and the extensions look a lot muscular. The paint looks brighter. There's an LED setup for the headlamp, the tail lamp, the indicators, and it also gets an LCD display. When we talk about riding position, and if my memory serves me correct, this is going to be very very similar to the TNT 300 that we have in India. So what sits inside this frame is an oversquare twin cylinder engine which is making 31.5 PS of power and 20 newton meters of torque. While these numbers might feel like decent numbers for a quarter liter motorcycle, but just like the TNT 300, this is a heavy bike. that the TNT 249S has received styling updates but basically is the same platform under the skin much like uh, the TNT 300 that we have in our market hasn't received any updates since what there's a four long years well there have been very minor updates but yeah it's in the same boat and i think that the competition has caught up yes. charged ahead and therefore it really needs it now so this styling update when it comes to the country and i'm saying when i'm not saying if when this update comes there will definitely be some fresh air at least in the benelli camp for the tnt 300 because they have to do it true now uh, varun i've been wanting and meaning to ask you this question for a long time i want uh, to understand why the indonesian market is obsessing with 250 cc motorcycles when the rest of the world tnt 300 gets tnt 300 yamaha r3s ninja 300s and and 400s yes what ask him for much i just need the hands well ron let me ask around and figure out if someone can answer that question and i promise the next time we talk about a 250 cc motorcycle you'll have your answer i hit waiting look at him he's gotten distracted again is the motorcycles okay for so, but don't you guys worry out here we are not distracted we are coming up with lots of action from giias but there's more action coming up from game of performance series where we shred tires of superbikes and supercars at the bud international circuit no distractions there check the episodes out on our channel as you're checking out our international auto show coverage from indonesia hit like if you enjoyed this video and remember please leave us a comment telling us what you thought of the styling of the tnt 249s ciao so just beg of the silence yeah. i give up i give up please i just want peace and quiet there please don't